Today we're going to talk about how to create a personal web page and explore the options available to create a blog and its comment sections. We're going to start out first going to Wix.com. Once you've gotten to Wix.com, you want to go to the sign in section in the top right hand corner. You have three options to sign in. Um, you can create a username and password exclusive to the Wix.com website where you can sign on with Facebook and Google. I'm going to sign on with Google today. Once you've signed in, it'll take you directly to this site. You have two options to create a new site or start creating now to build a web page. Either one will work. It takes you straight to the templates that you have available. For today's purpose, we're just going to go to the one pager. And you click on it, and you can see there's several different options. You can scroll through different pages. When you find one that suits your needs, go ahead and just click on it. It'll open in a new tab. And then once the site pulls up, and this is the site you want to use, you'll hit the blue Edit This Site on the top bar. And this opens up the Wix editor, allowing you to edit the website. This is the front page, but we are going to focus today on adding additional pages, um, specifically a blog page. You go to the tab on the top left-hand corner that says Pages, and click on it and then you go down to the add page and click on it once and then it gives you several different template or option forms. Today we're going to click on blog and we're going to rename it from blog1 to my blog and hit OK. And once you're done before it allows you to edit you have to save the page but if you forget to do that it'll tell you automatically when you click to edit. Um, these are the three blogs. These are just sample blogs that they have on there to kind of give you a guideline. Um, the featured posts is over here. Recent blogs you've done here. Archives and tags. To edit, you're going to click on any of these screens and it's going to pop up. Both of these screens you are going to hit Add and Edit Blog Post. Again, like we talked about, you have to save it first. So hit Save Now. Um, it has to be four characters long. I'm just going to use my initials twice and then that's your URL address once you publish. Save now. And don't want to publish yet so I'm going to close out of that. Close out of that. In order to edit, go back to the add and edit and it pulls up the three samples that they have. There are three types of blogs you can do. We're just You can click on any of these and edit them to meet your needs. This is a photo blog and the titles up here and say you did an expository text um, or blog on this you could do something over um, endangered animals and then right here is where you would enter your blog information you can add tags to it here I'd put animals and you want to set this as a featured post and then you can change the photo by clicking on the replace image here you can add images from your computer or you can use the images from Wix.com. So we're doing endangered animals and I click on the animals tab, go ahead and go with the tree frog and click the change image button. When you're done and this is how you want your blog to go, you hit OK. And that is your first photo blog. Video blog, you can just click on it once and it allows you to edit it. Say you don't want a video blog, you just hit delete and it takes it off. This is a text blog. Click on it once. You can set it as a feature, change the title, and then change the information here. Then hit OK. And then say you changed your mind and you want to add a video blog, click on the Add, Photo Text Video. Then you can type in whatever video you choose. The URL can be copy and pasted right into here. You can tag it with video or any other identifying marker. You can set it as a featured or as a draft post. Um, video blog information, this is where the majority of your writing will be. You just hit OK. Now you've created one of each of the types of blogs available. Hit Save. And it automatically saves it where you see these read more tabs. This is where if the blog won't fit into this little area, which it usually won't. You can click on this, but since we're in edit mode, we have to go through the back way. Click on pages, 
where it says single post, that's where it'll pop up the read more. Now what they have is they have a section. We're going to go ahead and erase that. Just click on it till it's highlighted in blue. Hit delete. And we're going to put a comment section on here that is exclusive to the Wix.com site. So you go to the app market. And right here you can type in comments up here or you can just click on it right here. You want to put add to site. And this is your comment box. And you just move it to where you want it and change the size. And then double click to complete the setup. You can change the background. I'm going to do blue and OK. Text color, everything's fine. But I'm going to limit it to five posts per page. Then I just have to close out and it's automatically saved. When you are done and you want to make sure everything looks good, go ahead and go to preview. And preview will show you how it works. In order to leave a comment, you would type in your comment, click on comment, and it gives you an option here to connect with Facebook, Twitter, or you can enter your name and submit the comment. Preview also allows you to go through and click on things in edit mode that it doesn't allow you to. This way you can see that anytime you hit the read more buttons, it takes you to a screen, and because you've done the comments on one, it shows up on every single post that you have. In addition, you see the tags that we put in are now operational, and you can Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Um, so today we have learned how to create three different types of blogs on a blog page and how to add a comment section to each one.